You'll be aware, Alistair Darling, the Chancellor of the UK, uh, made comments yesterday in the Select Committee, House of Commons Select Committee uh, investigation about the banking situation in the UK and, of course, any spin offs, for example, to the Isle of Man. Uh, in that, he made some comments that we were extremely concerned about in relation to uh, considering the relationship between the Isle of Man as a Crown Dependency and the United Kingdom. Um, I have written to um, the Lord Chancellor and Secretary of uh, Justice, um, Jack Straw. I've also written to uh, the UK Chancellor, Alistair Darling, in relation to this issue. Uh, in relation to Alistair Darling to clarify the situation as to his comments and what I believe is a clear misunderstanding of the status and situation here within the Isle of Man and also uh, to um, the uh, Lord Chancellor Jack Straw I've asked for a meeting, an urgent meeting uh, with an opportunity to clarify the situation in relation to uh, the United Kingdom government and its relationship with the Isle of Man and how it sees it going in the future and to clarify the situation. Chief Minister, do you think it was an unfortunate aside by Mr. Darling, or do you think it is uh, basically uh, speaking what is uh, speaking out about what is happening behind the scenes or what is planned? Well, I think it was a surprising statement in terms that the Isle of Man is recognised uh, by a number of organisations of uh, international status, the IMF, um, the World Trade Organisation, the OECD, as a place that is acting responsibly, is one of the most uh, proactive jurisdictions uh, in the world of the smaller nations who is trying to progress um, the situation of uh, getting into place uh, tax agreements. Um, we have somewhere in the region of about eight of those now with many countries around the world including the USA, the United Kingdom which was the last one to be signed which I signed on the 29th of last month, um, oh, sorry 29th of September and uh, quite clearly um, we are concerned that in fact because of this and the UK government being aware of all this that in fact we have a situation where uh, the comments were made in a select committee yesterday which quite honestly um, are based on misinformation and a lack of understanding of our relationship with the United Kingdom. Constitutionally uh, we are Crown Dependency and therefore we have a direct link to the Crown and the United Kingdom government uh, acts internationally for us in matters such as uh, the situation with the Kaufing, Singer and Friedlander, Isle of Man Bank and the Icelandic government. The inference was made that we were in fact going cap in hand to the UK government. Yes, we've never asked the United Kingdom government for any money for the Isle of Man. Uh, what we have done is ask that the uh, £559 million that was frozen in the United Kingdom, that the UK should try to make arrangements for that money to be returned to the depositors. Um, but we have not asked for use of the... Uh, any depositor scheme in the United Kingdom. Uh, we are the only Crown dependency with a depositor's compensation scheme and as you're aware we have updated that recently um, to reflect the changes in circumstances that have happened. And like many countries throughout the whole world, um, they've all been trying to ensure that as far as possible um, they can provide uh, support, appropriate support for depositors. What was actually said could be enormously damaging to the island. I think from our point of view is, um, you know, very confident still that it's a misunderstanding. Um, I think it's important enough that I meet with Jack Straw to get it uh, across the table uh, where the United Kingdom government stands on this matter. Uh, the Isle of Man is uh, a, a considerable contributor to the British economy. Uh, all the business that goes through the Isle of Man um, goes back into the City of London in terms of its financial services, or the majority of it does. Um, but not only that, I mean, a lot of what we do as a nation, the money we spend, is actually um, spending money on uh, products that are manufactured or uh, fed through the United Kingdom to the Isle of Man. So uh, through VAT, through duties, through other matters, we actually contribute quite valuably to the United Kingdom economy. Can I ask a question? Are you not a bit surprised about all the PR that you've done down the Mansion House and just basically your spin <coughs> doctors this end are just not getting the message across to the UK government? They just don't know where you are, what you're doing and what it's all about. Well, the Ministry of Justice certainly do. Um, the United Kingdom um, Treasury certainly understands some of it and I think uh, uh, that the situation where the Chancellor has made comments that seem to be a misunderstanding of the situation does surprise us and that's why I'm seeking an urgent uh, meeting with the Lord Chancellor um, to find out what the situation is and why this has occurred within the United Kingdom. It may be unfortunate but I mean, those words go out, people hear it, it gets reported in the press you know, you, you're, you're playing catch-up all the time on these sort of comments going out, aren't you, really? Well, we're bound to. I mean, if somebody makes a statement, we can only try to correct it, and we do that. 
um, again we can I believe uh, whilst we can't be complacent we will always be as a smaller country always endeavouring to uh, bat off if you like um, comments that have no foundation I think the important thing is that we're actually in a very strong position to bat those off because quite clearly uh, when uh, points are made that have no foundation it's very easy for us then to put the facts forward and to make the case and that's what we continually tried to do in recent times and will continue to do again Is there an indication that an examination of the Crown dependencies is about to take place? Well, uh, we've had no indication of that and certainly, um, you know, clarification of what does the United Kingdom government um, see its relationship with its Crown dependencies is clearly an issue um, that I'm sure we would all uh, like to have. Um, certainly from our point of view, our relationship with the United Kingdom government and certainly through the Ministry of Justice has been a very positive one. It's developed over a number of years to quite a strong position of understanding. And in fact, I signed an agreement with Lord Falconer uh, when I first became Chief Minister uh, in 2007. And uh, that allowed the Isle of Man to represent itself uh, where in fact there was a clear difference between the United Kingdom and the Isle of Man objectives and there was recognition of that by the United Kingdom government so we've moved considerably in recent times in terms of uh, how we take things forward and the United Kingdom certainly uh, through the Ministry of Justice clearly recognises that I think what we need to do is get a clarification for everybody uh, as to the situation and how uh, the United Kingdom government in its whole sees the Isle of Man we're talking about the need for more clarity, because um, it doesn't use, actually use the word constitutional relationship. Um, so, is there any doubt in your mind that actually that's what he's what he's talking about? It's a cons constitutional relationship between the UK and the Isle of Man. No. Which is We're making the point back to hit them that they need to recognise our constitutional <coughs> link with the United Kingdom. If you don't refer to the constitutional relationship, then you've got this problem because that constitutional relationship is very important. Do you have a, a, a message of reassurance for the KSF depositors on the island? Well, the reassurance is the only one I've uh, given consistently is that the Alamang government will do what it can um, to see if we can secure the uh, depositors uh, money but I mean it's not in our hands hence why we have been making a representation to the United Kingdom government.